So that's a very, very important uh, uh, observation from AMW. So, yes. Okay, this one. Okay. This gives an estimate of how much is the amount of modulation or the extent to which the signal is undergoing transformation. Okay. So now let us try to understand what it means is not your place, yes, sir, not your place. The mo that means that if carrier is not changing. It means that the modulated wave energy can neither be created nor destroyed. So what it means is the modulated wave contains extra energy. The modulated wave contains extra energy. Where is this energy contained in? This is contained in one of you please switch off your mic please. Extra energy in the two sideband components. The energy is contained in the two sideband components. Okay. Therefore, what it implies is, it also implies that modulating signal has or it contains more power, more energy, more power, more power than carrier wave, more power than carrier wave. Also, the power depends on the power depends on the modulation index, which is given by m is equal to by definition m by v. So therefore, this is a very important relation. The total power in the modulated way, total power in the modulated way, which modulated way? Amplitude modulated way is given by, power is given by V square R. So V in the carrier plus V in the lower sideband plus V in upper sideband. This was I think four equation four. Where all these voltages are whenever you calculate power you take RMS values. What is RMS? Root mean square values. And you know that VRMS is equal to VP by root 2. VP by root 2. Therefore, If you recall that equation now, uh, let me write it once again. We had this equation, V of amplitude of wave was Vc sin omega C T plus M, we call this as MAM, if you remember, Vc by 2, uh, it was uh, cos, right? Cos of omega C plus omega M times T minus M V C by 2 cos of omega C plus omega M T. 
and this was called the voltage the amplitude of lower side band and this is called the amplitude of upper side band. the frequency components are different but amplitude remains the same the magnitude remains the same so therefore this is the carrier original carrier so let us now calculate the power in each of this therefore first one carrier power the carrier power is given by v carrier wave square by r by definition because power can be written as i square r r v square by r where r is the resistive load of the circuit resistive load of the circuit so this can be written as this i told you root mean square value so vc by root 2 whole square by r so this is equal to now what do you get this as vc square by right? r uh, i think this is equation okay. this is your equation Perfect. next power in lower side band power in the lower side band that is given by v what is the magnitude the magnitude was m times vc by 2 let me write let me go up m v c by 2 is this value and this is also m v c by 2 both have the same amplitude so before i go to this the amplitude was m v c by 2 the peak value so i r m s value how do you write r m s value m v c by 2 2 the square will therefore be m v c by 2 root 2 the square of this by r and you get the same thing for upper side band also as m v c by 2 root 2 the square of this and so what will this be equal to this is equal to m square vc square by 2 square is 4 4 twos are 8 and up and this is also equal to m square vc square by eta this m even if i do not right understand that this is modulation index of this so i think there has some small time okay. so now the total power by this definition is equal to p u to c plus b u to lsb plus p u to lsc So when you write all these, what you get is this was V C squared by two R plus uh, M V C by two, so four H R. So that it means M squared V C squared by eight R plus M squared V C squared. By H R, 
and may let me write it as so how do you write this as equal to this can be equated to vc square by 2r plus m a square vc square two times of this so can i write it as 4r which can further be written as equal to p total can be written as vc square by 2r into 1 plus m a square by 2. So this is the expression. And you know that this is nothing but power due to carrier. So this is equation number 6. So we can write another relation P total by P C is equal to 1 plus M A square by 2. One plus this. So this is a very, very important relation uh, as far as So you will you have to use this relation for solving these problems. This is giving you a relation between equation 7. Giving you a relation between the total power and carrier power. It's giving you a relation between these two. So, in an ideal case, as we have seen, this is very, very important and interesting to note. In an ideal case, that is for 100% modulation, what was your MA? MA was equal to so that means the total power is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 times Pc, which can be written as 1.5 times Pc. This is equation 8. One plus one by two times. So why is it important? This is very important because the amplifiers that are used should be capable of handling this much power because it is needed. So this is what it is. So, generally, let me just give you one example. Let me take this one, a broadcast radio transmitter. Uh, let us say that it radiates 10 kilowatt power when modulation percentage percentage is given is 60. The question is how much of this is the carrier power? How much of this is the carrier power? Generally, this is how they, this type of examples are given. So, I want to do this. So, use this relation. What relation will you use? Pc is equal to, you got Pt is equal to Pc into 1 plus m square by 2. Now, he is asking you to calculate Pc. 
that will be pt divided by 1 plus m squared by 2. Now what we do substitute, this was 10 kilowatts, 1 plus, m was given to be 60 percent. So it is 60 by 100 which is 0.6. So you must substitute here 0 0.6 square by 2. So 10 by what will this be? Mm, 0.36. So it will be 10 by this is 36. 36.36 by 2 is 0.18. So 10 by 1 plus 1.8 would be 1.18. Uh, 10 by anybody who has a calculator? Ten by one point one eight. Ten by one point one eight. Eight point four seven. Are you getting? Eight point four seven kilowatt. So total power was ten, and most of it is residing only in the carrier. So this is how power is calculated.